Hi everyone and welcome back for this new short video. Today I want to share with you a little trick. As you all probably know, you can export PowerPoint slides as images. And by default, those images have a HD resolution. So it's 1280 by 720. But if you're doing something for work or if you're trying to do some images for YouTube, then you'll probably want to export those slides as full HD images. By default, in PowerPoint, we don't have the option to choose the resolution. However, there is a little trick that you can do in order to export any PowerPoint slide in full HD. Let's check it out. We'll fire up PowerPoint and we'll try to create a blank presentation. I'll just remove the title and the subtitle. And what I want to do is I want to add an image. So I'll drag an image on my PowerPoint slide. Now, in reality, this image is uh, quite large, so you can see it's way above Full HD. Okay, so I've imported my image into PowerPoint. Okay, if you want, you can add some text, you can add things, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. You can create, uh, you know, whatever you're trying to create. And then at some point in time, you decide, okay, I have my slide and now I want to export it as an image. So, of course, you can go File, Export change file type and here you can choose for example PNG or JPEG okay so I'll choose PNG and I'll give it um, a nice name I say PowerPoint image one and I'll save it on my desktop and I'll click Save okay just this slide and now we as you can see we have a new image we have the image that we just exported now if you look at this image you'll see that the resolution at which it was exported is HD only. So although the original image was um, way above Full HD, the image that was exported by PowerPoint is just 1280 by 720. And of course, if you really want to present on a big screen on a Full HD resolution, then it's going to lose some detail. It's not going to be as crisp as if it were if you had the image exported at Full HD. Now, by default, PowerPoint doesn't allow you to export uh, at different resolutions. So when you try to export something, you just have these options. Basically, you can choose the file format. But there is a small trick you can do in, e in order to enable this. Okay, so let's check it out. Well, it involves opening the Regit program. So you need to actually make some small modification in the registry. And I know it's not, uh, you know, a very elegant solution, but it, uh, it's a solution that works. And you only have to do it once and then that's it. And you'll see that it's not very complicated, okay? So, you have to go to HKey Current User, and then you need to find software. You need to find Microsoft, okay, Microsoft. You need to find Office, somewhere here, you see Office, okay? And then 15 is my version of Office, so 15 corresponds to Office 2013. And then you find PowerPoint, and then you go here in the Options folder. And now what I want to do is I want to add a new D word value, okay? I want to add a new key in the registry. And this key has to be named Export Bitmap Resolution. So Export Bitmap Resolution. Okay, I've created this new key and now I want to edit its value. First of all, you have to set it as a decimal value. And now by default, PowerPoint uses 96 as the value and 96 corresponds to HD. If you change it to 144, now this will correspond to full HD. Now I save my key here. You can see that the new value 144 has been saved. I close the registry, the regit, I close my PowerPoint instance, and now I'll open PowerPoint again. And I'll repeat the process. So a new blank presentation. I'm removing the title and the subtitle. Okay. I'm importing this image. And now what I want to do is I want to um, export this image again. So I'll change the file type. I'll use PNG again. And I'll save it on the desktop. And I'll just give it... I'll say PowerPoint image underline two. Click save. 
okay just export the slide and now if you look at this new image in the details we'll see that now it has been exported as a full HD image which is awesome it's exactly what we wanted to achieve okay guys that's it for today's uh, short tip if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends if you want to find more software development tutorials and tips you can also check out my blog at www.romaniancoder.com and if you want to get in touch with me you can do that on facebook at romanian coder until next time have a great day and write amazing code goodbye